Well, Carolyn, many we spoke with tonight, including the director of this Islamic Center, are trying not to even validate Jones or give him the attention that they feel he craves, but his actions are still front page news. It's very difficult to ignore something like this. And at the same time, uh, it's, it's a challenge to cover it and yet to keep it within its perspective and context. When Florida pastor Terry Jones threatened to burn copies of the Quran last year around September 11th and the end of Ramadan, he got media attention from around the globe, including front page on the Arab American news. Something publisher Osama Sablani believes Jones is after again with his announcement of a trip planned to Dearborn. I think that he is coming to the wrong mosque. Uh, and I definitely is coming to the wrong place. Uh, this place has been a hub for interfaith dialogue. A Jones spokeswoman says the preacher is planning a protest against quote-unquote radical Islam in front of the Islamic Center of America next month, a place that has opened its doors to all faiths in need. When the uh, Christians uh, were bombed and the churches were bombed in uh, in Baghdad and, and the Coptic churches were bombed in Egypt. Uh, we held rallies at this mosque uh, condemning the violence against Christians. But we will have the right answer for Mr. Jones when he comes in. We will have the right reception for him. And Sablani says that reception is love, combating hate with love, maybe even having a vigil inside at the time of his visit with priests, rabbis, and imams. Uh, Jones plans to be here April 22nd. We'll see. Live in Dearborn, I'm Glenda Lewis. Back to you. All right, Glenda, thank you for the report. By the way, Jones did end up making good on that promise or threat, depending on how you look at it, to burn the Koran. Just last Sunday, he held a mock trial of the Koran, then burned a copy at his home church in Florida. About 30 of his followers were there watching the stunt.